There's people that have had gunshots go through their windows. And I'm worried about my family because we live in dangerous neighborhoods. I know that the community is deeply traumatized by these events. As the police, we want to do something. We do live here and we love living here. We need some guidance. You're hearing the frustration over gun violence. Flowers are sitting out at Dawson Park tonight after another life was lost to gun violence in Portland. Police tell us Titus McNack was killed on Tuesday. As we continue to see a surge in shootings across Portland, there's now an organized community effort planning to respond to shooting scenes in the name of peace and love. And Fox 12 Sarah Hurwitz spoke with leaders on the front lines of this coalition. She has the story all new tonight that you'll see only on 12. Another life lost, this time at Dawson Park here on Tuesday. And starting this weekend, community leaders will be responding to shooting scenes to change the mood and start a new narrative for our city. Another deadly shooting. This group of community leaders now planning to take back the streets. Well, why aren't we walking around these parks? Why aren't we marching around these parks saying we're not going to leave until we see some change? Starting this weekend, several in this group will be heading out to shooting scenes to have a presence of peace and love. Lionel Irving, a former gang member and founder of the nonprofit Love is Stronger, says they're calling for community volunteers to help in this effort. We need to get a 20, 30 people group and we need to be able to mobilize, man, so we can get to the shot fire. So we come in here with the aspect of the energy of healing. Right, because the community, everybody's gonna look out the window, somebody's blood on the ground, everybody's gonna be hurt and sad. We come in here with good energy, with whatever resources we got to the surrounding neighborhoods, not just the victims. The group says people should not let fear get in the way of standing up against this violence. And we want you to stand with us. We want you to walk beside us, march beside us. So come out and march around, march around these parks, march through these neighborhoods, and don't do it in fear. You weren't afraid that the that the police might shoot you with the tear gas. But I feel like the part of the reasons like we, we don't come out to these events is because we're afraid that we might actually get shot by that gang member. And in addition to this coalition, Lionel Irving says he's also promoting a safe spaces campaign this weekend. He says there will be several food carts across the area, across Portland, where people can come and gather, feel safe and just eat and hang out in North Portland. Sarah Hurwitz, Fox 12 Oregon.